Let's continue Donkey Kong Country 2. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking, and hope you have been enjoying the playthrough of this one. I know I have. <laughs> that might sound facetious, but I, I gen genuinely have been. Just some of the last stages I've had to play, man. There's been something else. Oh yeah, I need to uh I need to get two coins to get out of here. Cause I saved. I need to go to the B stage. This one. Just quickly collect the two coins to get out of this area. We'll see how I go today. I wouldn't say that my platforming is 100% today, but I'll do my best. to get out of here. Oh, Funk is up there. Alright. Ugh. I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, Gloomy Gulch is next. And we're up to Ghostly Grove? Okay. Okay, good music. Go okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Just like uh, ghost ropes. <laughs> how, how do these function? The sunlight? I need to know how these function so that I'm not jumping to my doom. I lost a few seconds. Nope. Set. This is what I'm worried about. Wait, what's this? This this looks weird. Oh no, there's something down there. There has to be. The camera kinda. Oh! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was close. That's that sorted. Crap. Stop. Okay. This is the first one of these I've found. I mean, really, I, I think this is the first one I've, I've found so far. Okay. 
Uh, I think I should probably... Yeah. Just in case anything goes wrong. Ooh, that was lucky. Uh-huh. Ugh, you ass. Okay, but yeah, that was normal. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I thought I was a bit late on it. I'm good. What? No! Oh shit. I jumped. That was dumb. Through the bonus stage. Oh shit, it comes back to life. Dixie, what was that? Hidden G, wow. <laughs> oh, that was risky. Nice, nice, nice. Haunted Hall. Kind of figured. I bet there's something even further I can do. Oh, yeah, most likely. But I need Diddy. Oh boy. Gonna be another. Okay, how am I? I'm supposed to get all the stars like this? No, just a collection. Okay, I was gonna say. It's fine. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Hopefully there's leeway. Okay, 
Okay, that was, that was. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, Diddy gets another 20 seconds. I missed the bonus stage. Man, it's so easy to hit those barrels. Oof, just. Damn it. I'm gonna have to die. I have to get I have to get it. So aside from that, this went well. Dude! I tried. I jumped early and everything. I just snapped to the top rail. Seems to always get me. Uh oh. Should be fine, should be fine, should be fine, should be fine. Should be fine. Oh my god, how? I have to jump. Alright, I can only really do one more try at it. Otherwise, we're gonna lose progress. Thank you. Jeez, it's <laughs> close. Okay, now we can go. Oh, you know what? Lesser are the evils. Getting nothing is worse than getting something and it being bad. I mean, better than... Ugh, you know what I meant. Ooh. Damn it, that fucked me up. Alright, but I don't have to worry about the bonus stage. Oh no, I can't hit another one. I hit another one, I'm screwed. I don't hit another one. 
Oh, what? Really? Oh my god, I hate that jump. I hate those jumps. Hmm. That's better. Dude, why why is it so precise? Oh my god. There is no wiggle room on those jumps. It's easier to take the bonus stage. It really is. Because then you skip all that. I'm screwed. Pretty much have to get the bonus stage. Oh, alright. Doesn't matter if I succeed or fail. Okay, gave me a one-up, so that's good. I don't have any wiggle room for this one. Oof. Damn it. No! <laughs> I was right there. Ugh. Oh. Because I hit that one. I need Dixie for that part. Please, please don't take take one away from me. Okay, we're fine. And we're also fine. Okay, it's looking good now. It's not good. Okay, actually, that's not bad. Okay, I was going to say, provided I don't take another hit. Oh, got it. to be something here. Why else would this be here? Gusty Glade. Ah, 
Oh, nice. Oh, it's very windy. Oh, that's just annoying. <laughs> it changed. It changed. That's such an inopportune time. Yeah, this is a problem because I haven't saved. I'm not sure if this is helping or if this is a liability. I'm gonna be careful. Okay, there we go. God, the wind! <laughs> oh, this is bad. I need to get to a safe point. Okay, if this thing kills me again, I'm probably gonna go without it. This seems to be a major liability. I'm not sure it's making the stage easier. It's not making the stage easier. Okay. Hey, Nick, though. Ah! The, ah! <laughs> Fucking win. I can't tell when it's gonna wind up. It just starts all of a sudden. <sighs> if I die this time, I, I'm not using this thing. Because it's walking as a jump, like, if you're... Yep, that. Exactly that. Like, sure, it's helping against the enemies, but it just screws you over. Okay, no, it's... It's gonna be one of these stages. I hate this stage already. I hate it. Yep. Went in opposite direction right away. Okay. Well, fuck me then. I have to redo all those levels.
Ah, uh, yeah, and I have to grind my way out of this as well. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's an easy way I can get some some padding here, some lives. Because it's not going to be fun if that keeps happening. I think I can use Swanky's tent to get more. I know this is a bit of a, an annoying thing I have to do, but... I wonder why they chose not to save the number of lives and coins you have. It, it just... I mean, in the first game, sure. It's the first game, understandable, but... It's brutal when you come back to play the game and then there's some hard stages and you only have five lives. When you may have had 30 beforehand. Let's see what I can do with this. Bapin Booty. What is the name of your snake's name? Slizzles? No? Okay. Hiss off. Wow, I got it wrong. Now I gotta go get coins again. So, I can see where they got inspiration for the damn quiz in Banjo-Kazooie, the one that I hated. I think it, it's fine. I don't know if they ever established the name of it. I think this is one of these things where you need to look in the manual. I can't say the game has explicitly told me, hey, this is the name of, uh... The snake. I'm, I'm almost positive. They do it at the end. Yeah, that doesn't help me now. That's probably in the manual. Having a quiz with, like, every little, little thing in the game that most people won't pay attention to, I don't know. I just, I've never liked that. How many bees were in Rambi's Rumble in total? If you weren't counting, go fuck yourself. I want, I want enough for two rounds, two attempts, and a way to fly out of here. So that's eight, two, and then two attempts, which are like three each, and I'll see if I can get some coins out of it. I just don't want to have to repeat the levels again. 
Okay. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Alright. Ratley. What color waistcoat does old Cranky Kong wear in the Monkey Museum? Green? Which one of these enemies have you not seen during- I don't fucking know. The Zing of the Wasp. No? Rattly? Green? Okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I go back and I get more coins. How was my day? It was uh, long, to say the least. I was on the fence about playing this one tonight. So we'll see how I go. Just because the stages last time were pretty tricky. Alright, hopefully I should be able to get it now. lives. It's almost Friday, is it? It's just Wednesday. It's like kind of in the middle. Or at least for me. It, okay, well, well, yeah, I suppose Wednesday's done. I did it again. I did it. I did it again. Alright, hopefully this should be enough lives to get me through, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if it was up there. There's something up there. Otherwise, why, would it, why was there an enemy up here? Okay, weird. I don't know. This level wasn't bad. I didn't struggle with it. Is there a barrel here? Yes. Okay, we're fine. Nothing there. Yeah, that's the okay. I remember. Don't you dare.
Is this, is this easier or is this harder? I feel like Dixie has a harder time here. Yeah, that's a little bit more annoying. Oh. Okay, these enemies are the ones that I hate, but in Donkey Kong Country 3, because they go along the rope, they don't just charge at you. The ones on the rope are just n a nightmare and a half, because the moment you collide with them, you take damage. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. Damn it, nearly. Jeez, I've already been playing for 40 minutes almost. That's really how much progress I lost from the game over. it because I want to save once it's an option. It's okay. I have it now. Now I don't have to risk my life again. Yeah, I can. Okay. I have done that the first time, honestly. <laughs> Alright. Uh, haunted Hall. Again. Oh yeah, I got to check this time. Okay, there was nothing good. Ah, now I have to repeat this. This was the problem was just I needed to get into the bonus stage. Oh my god, hurry up. Thank you.
There we go. All right. One. Shit. I don't know why I went for that. That was dumb. I shouldn't have gone for that. I should have just left it. I can't lose more lives that that windy stage is ugh. Doing the bonus stage because the alternative is I do B's and that's harder. I almost flinched and went for it again. Right, come on, checkpoint. There's a checkpoint. Okay. Damn it. Okay, I, I think I can still make it as long as I don't hit another one. Okay. <laughs> Under control. Don't fuck up. Just a cute minecart, <laughs> I suppose. Skulls aren't everyone's thing. Okay, I need all the luck in the world for this one. I have 10 lives, hopefully that's enough. stresses me out just because I don't know I think when the bananas are going forward that's when I know when the wind is about to kick up but otherwise I'm kind of clenching the entire time yep no but yep <laughs> don't no 
just... Ah, it's gone. Okay, I can still get that. That was going to be something important, wasn't it? I almost had it. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> it's okay, I can try again. Dude, okay, that's fine. Almost didn't get it. Ah. This reminds me that one day I will play the original version of the Lost Levels. It's just, all, all this reminds me of is that. Okay, I imagine this... No, okay, never mind. <sighs> I need the can... Yeah, I need the can... Ah! Ah! <laughs> How do I get it across? Do I just have to throw it? I need the cannonball for the minigame. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I never- I never tried- because I didn't have Mario All-Stars growing up. I never tried the Lost Levels, which is just supposed to be harder. But- I don't like how Mario 1 controls on the lost levels, it just- it's jank. It's not the same. <laughs> well, I forgot what year it was. But I played the, uh... The All-Stars version of Mario 1. And I just got so damn tilted because it, it was just not behaving the way my muscle memory remembered it. Like, it, it was just completely wrong. I can't open that now, can I? So... Oh, the stage! Oh, the stage! <laughs> oh no, yeah, I love the part where it just blew me back into the holes, that's great. You see why I did- I had my reservations about playing this today? I'm a little tired, chat. This is not helping! This stage in particular, the other stages have been fine. Oh my god! I'm not an idiot, it's the fucking wind. Dude! To leap. Ah! No! The wind! It pushed me back! I'm 
gonna lose it. <laughs> going to fucking lose it. I just need to finish this stage because I bet the save point is immediately after this. Nightmare of a stage. Thank fuck. Okay. It's gonna be windy again, I, I need to be careful. Deluxe Kong, you're up. Okay, Satan, calm down. Should I? Oh, man. No, I'm not. it's just, I worry there's something else down, but. <laughs> no, that's, that's great. Yep, love it. It's not looking good. I, I don't think I'm gonna get a one-up from this. I almost, I almost, almost fucked up. I need Diddy to be the sacrificial lamb here. I can't lose Dixie. <laughs> There's something down there, I can see it. Um... I swear I saw something down. Oh my god! Was I wrong? I went through the wall. That's why I assumed there was something there. Alright, great. <laughs> I gotta do all this again. This is probably just gonna be all I do, honestly. <laughs> just get past that point. Okay, I just need five this time because I know the answers to the quiz. I 
can see why people might play the Game Boy Advance version now. It's not... <sighs> it's not to say that the GBA version looks better or sounds better, it's just the fact that you can save, I'm sure, in a much more convenient way. That's gotta, that's gotta go a long way. Try this again. <laughs> Trying not to spend too much time here on these. These stages aren't the problem. <laughs> it's what comes after. Oh, I need the barrel, I need the barrel. There we go. a little greedy on me, but it's fine. Under control. <gasps> no! Fuck! <laughs> Dick. <laughs> ah. I, I need all the lives. Can't be losing lives. Don't you dare! Some mistake I made. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm I'm most definitely tired. Finger slipped and it caused me to do a spin.
I did try to do the piggyback throw to salvage it, but it didn't work. If I can do this within the first two deaths, then I have a fair chance of doing the next stage. The stage is honestly not that bad. I don't mind the minecart stages in this game compared to one. They seem a lot less sadistic this time around. At least so far, I don't know what comes next. Screw that coin. That's okay. I can, I can get two and then still be fine. I need to go back. <laughs> I jumped too late. Ugh, that sucks. Damn it. Okay, can I only get one more? That was too early. Huh? Okay. Now don't mess up. Or, no, you know what? Nothing is better than grabbing something and making a mistake. Whoa! <laughs> Surgical. Alright, got it. I was happy with that jump. Going for the one up. Nope, too early, too early. Yeah, I need the lives. <sighs> okay, welcome back to hell.
This is another case of the music is carrying the stage a little bit. If it wasn't so relaxing, I swear I would have lost it already. <laughs> Multiple times. I've been thrown into a pit because of this wind. I want to see what the snake is carrying, just in case it's a, it's a DK coin. It could be. Can't rule it out. I got so close to reaching the target with it. for me. I feel like I should try it one more time. Keep going. If I'm really, if I don't find the DK coin, I'll just, I'll just do the start and select to repeat the stages as, as much as I need to get it done. It's okay. Just, just, oh, okay. That's all. That's all. not going as well as I thought. I don't have to do the cannonball thing again. My God, all right, I see. That wasn't too bad. Oh. <laughs> that was greedy of me. I think I have to wait for it. Oh, 
is this a normal? Oh, it's just this. Yep, it's normal. Don't care. Let's <laughs> not be greedy. Stage is done. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. It took an hour, over an hour to get to get to this point. <laughs> I swear this is saved. So basically, unless you have Dixie, you can't do that. Oh, there's no shooting with this one. Oh, this one can't float either. Alright, parachute, I get it. Parachute. Haha, uh -huh, I get it. Yeah, tenacity. But also the inner child screaming, like, you can do this. <sighs> Damn it. It's okay, I got 10 lives. And there's been a save point. It's okay. The DK coin is not in a pain in the ass spot, so that's nice. Can't piggyback here. Weird. Okay. Well. <laughs> Man, that uh, that almost got me right away. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Oh, okay. I got lucky. <laughs> I didn't think that would work, but it did, so hey. I'll take it. The hitboxes can be annoying, but they can also work in your favor. No checkpoint. Yeah, look. I bet the next one's gonna be left. What a oh nah too early. I think I should spend the time and get bananas here. Even though it might take a while, probably not the worst idea.
Oh. I think I get how that's supposed to work. Because the quicker you go, the more time you have at the end. That might... Um, I don't want to test that theory. That was stupid. <laughs> it also seems like this world is a lot shorter. Looking at it, unless there's more, this world looks like it's a lot shorter, but I think I can understand why. I mean, if these stages are anything to go by. Okay, yeah, so that's how that's supposed to work. doesn't give you a checkpoint at the O. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Alright, we're good. Okay, it's nice that the DK coin was done at the start. Yeah, I don't care about that, honestly. I'd rather live. Making sure there's nothing there. Okay. Oof. I'll take the hit. Ow. Ow. I'll take the life, thank you. Oh, it's another clubber's kiosk. Okay, hang on.
Web Woods. Probably should have waited. I feel like I should have the spider at this point. I don't know, just going by the stage's name. I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> but it went further down. Okay, well. I'm just glad there's no wind. I'll I'll take this any day of the week over wind. Okay, that was my bad. It's okay, I'm not stressed now because there's a save point behind me. Everything is fine. something here. Really? Is that death or... Yeah, let's just go the normal way. No, it's not. Okay, I imagine this is where it becomes Webwoods. Spoder. I mean, this should be fine, right? I don't see any large problems here. I'm not sure if I saw what I saw. I swear I saw a barrel. I don't want to completely risk my life with this. I'm gonna go back. I could be wrong on this. Just a no. It's a coin. Okay. I saw something. Not so straightforward. Okay, I 
That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances with this. Oh my god, it's only the O. Okay, just stay low. Should be fine. Angled shot. That's annoying. <laughs> uh, all right. That was quite the enemy spam. It's not the wind stage, so I'm happy. Okay. Hey, Smith and Allhouse. Hey, going! I shot the web. The one detonated underneath me. I blame myself. I thought I had, like, half a second more. I did not. I was like, oh, in the corner of my eye, Twitch chat flashes, so... What's that? Returning chat member? I gotta say hi. And it's just... Death. But as you know, chat, I am contractually obliged to, uh, respond to chat. Not sure in what capacity or what quantity, but... It's a thing. <laughs> Sorry, don't apologize. It's fine. I'm just kidding. Let's see. I was always a fan of Squawks, and Spider's cool. But I was always- ah, That wasn't a platform. I was always happy to see Squawks. It's a bit sad to see Rambi not appear in the third one. They replaced it with an elephant, which, uh, yeah, the elephant has its unique capabilities, but I still miss Rambi. Spider definitely has the most utility. Okay. 
Taking my time. The angled shot is so good. Yeah, I don't like this part because it's... It's just enemy spam. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the webs to go out. Maybe it's a better idea to do it at, at a height. Sort of. Wow, it's not stopping. I mean, this definitely worked. Oh shit. Yeah, I knew I fucked up. I hesitated too much. I still got the coin. Honestly, not sure what that arrow was for. Gee. Ah. Uh, oh my. Oh my God. Banana. Banana, shoot. Damn it. Yeah, so you have to... I'm gonna have to do this multiple times. That is kind of annoying. Um, I'm gonna go save the stage. But it looks like we're, f we're finally at the end of this world. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this area wasn't too bad, it's just what made it long was that stupid wind stage. Have I figured out an easy way to farm lives? Nope. The only- the best I can do is go to Swanky and do the quiz and earn whatever lives I can, but I still need to grind the coins to do that. There's probably a code, because there was a code in Donkey Kong 1 that you enter to give you 30 lives, so... Oh, okay. Honestly, that's probably what I have to do. Wait, how did I get up? I got up there with Dixie before. How did I do that? There we go. I think I'm okay for lives this time around, but at the start it was a bit of a struggle. Okay. 
Well, let's try and get through this as best as I can. It sucks that the coin is, is pretty much, you have to go through five minutes of the stage, if not longer, just to have a, an attempt at it. But it is what it is. I guess I just gotta do it. Safe states can't do it because this is an actual cartridge. Even if I could, I don't generally believe in them, unless it's something where it's like a ROM hack and it's been designed around the fact that you have to use safe states. This, this is not emulation here. Kids these days in this safe state. It's back in my day. No, just kidding. Do whatever it is you need to do to have fun and stay sane when you're playing a game. Uh, I could see him. Game doesn't order saves and saving is cheating. I, I guess. Yeah, 30. You did games without save states, and let me tell y'all, sanity. Yeah, I know. But it's not just a matter of saving. This this is a case of you need to do a certain number of stages, and only then can you save, provided you have the coin. I know. Just, people don't know the, str the the struggle of your parents telling you to turn off the Super Nintendo, and then you're like, no, no, I need to find the save point. Crap. Crash Bandicoot 1 didn't save lives. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1 did not save anything. But at least there was, an, there was a really easy way to grind lives, so it, it didn't matter too much. Like you, it was pretty straightforward. This is not... At least, not without, I'm sure there's, because there was a glitch thing you could do in Donkey Kong 1 to earn as much lives as you wanted on a particular stage. There is a, there is a way, I am aware of it. But, I mean, outside of that... I love watching people play retro games and just when they come to the realization that it doesn't auto save or that they have to redo stuff. It gives it gives me energy. Like you would not believe. Okay, that one's smooth that that time. Oof. 
feeling of Palpatine teaching Anakin. <laughs> yes, let the hatred flow. I don't know what he says. I've seen Star Wars, but not to the point where I can quote like every single line. Pretty sure I quoted it perfectly. Okay, good. Oh, you don't know the quote either. Well, still. Let's just say I did. Oh, that is evil. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> no, that, that's it. That's the attempt. <laughs> oh no, we might be here for a while. <sighs> okay, great. Yeah. Play Donkey Kong Country 2. You're going to have so much fun. It's a classic. I can't believe you grew up with three. Why did your father not go purchase number two instead of number three? Three is the inferior game. Don't worry, three's going to have its own set of issues. <laughs> Who was the person that got excited about it when I... What? He said he's going to play Donkey Kong Country after this. A few people have been wanting me to play this for a while, to be honest, so I wouldn't be able to pick out who. I also think I guess probably Messiah. But multiple people have been wanting to see this one for a while. It's not just nostalgic, it's it's just the difficulty is known, you know? Which I think makes it a good game. Some might disagree. Chat, I know people that hate the Donkey Kong series because just the platforming is jank to them. They think that it's inaccurate and that it's, it is unfairly bullshit at times. It's not as user, it's not as universally loved as you would think. Also enjoy watching me struggle a bit. I think everyone does to some degree. Just caveman noises, or I guess the sound of like Gollum being strangled. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's off the Donkey Kong. There's a few things that I've, I've kind of left unfinished, so I might go back and do some some clearing. Like, I have that, uh, that puzzle game that I, I tried on the Wii U. I kind of want to do more of that. There's probably not a whole lot left of it, but I should go back and finish it. I need to finish Bridge Constructor, which is something that I've just been playing on and off, on and off, on and off. Uh, and there was Rogue Legacy and The Binding of Isaac, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. In terms of new shit, uh, I want to play, like, a story game, so... Maybe God of War. Ah, damn it. Maybe the new God of War. Or, uh... 
because I got a uh, Like a Dragon, the one that's set in ancient Japan, then that one seems cool. And I always enjoy stuff from that franchise, so. As far as retro stuff goes, I mean, Donkey Kong Country 3 is after this one, so you'll see it sooner rather than later. Uh, and then I maybe want to revisit one of the Metroid games. Not sure which one, but I have the capacity to play all, all the classic ones. I just I have to decide which. Or Wario. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it's not just directed at Twitch chat, but also YouTube. I do read comments. I do reply to them. I'll, t I'll tell you what it won't be. <laughs> it won't be a Zelda game. I've been playing Zelda games for like the last year pretty much non-stop, so... Whilst the there are other things I can do Zelda related, uh, I think I, I need to take a break from Zelda stuff after Tears. Mega Man X Sonic Warrior Land 2. I've already played Warrior Land 2, but I do plan to play Warrior Land 3. So if you missed out Warrior Land 2, that's on the VODs channel. That was fun, because that one is a childhood favorite of mine. And I also did the impression and everything. I, Yeah. Anytime I play a Warrior game, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm a bit tired. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the warrior voice. Yeah, Mega Man wouldn't be a bad idea. I love Mega Man, but if I was to do it, I'd probably do the NES ones first, because I don't think I have playthroughs of any of those games. Surprisingly enough. But I do have, um, original copies of 1 to 6. I have an anniversary copy of X. But I also have the, uh, the collections as well. Um, the very classic Pokemon games, so like Pokemon... What? Really? The very classic Pokemon game, Pokemon Red, um... Probably won't, unless I do a Nuzlocke or something. And the reason being is, uh, for the anniversary or whatever it was, like, a couple years back. I played this ROM hack called Red++. Plus Plus, and that was good. So, for those that don't know, that one, um, it's basically Pokemon Red. But then the Pokemon you find in the game also includes some from Gold and Silver. And it kind of aligns closely to the TV show more or less, um, and it has stuff like the running shoes, some of the conveniences that Gold and Silver has, and also has extra areas, so you can go catch Mew, for example, which is pretty good. Yeah, it was a cool little thing I did, but um, after doing that, ugh, damn it, I don't think I'd want to play Red, maybe Fire Red. Fire Red is the GBA version. That might be something, but for now, I think in all, in all likelihood, probably Metroid. Probably. As far as retro stuff goes, or Wario. Unless there's like overwhelming demand for something else. It'll be more clear once I'm done with Tears of the Kingdom. Because then that's just a massive time consumer. Just gone. 
Abe's Odyssey is one that I have on Steam, but that game was hard. <laughs> the other thing is I can't I can't just keep playing hard games. I I can't do it. I sort of burnt myself out last year, just back to back, just things that were oh so difficult, like you would not believe. So I, I played Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing for a while just to not do something that was just torturing me every stream. I I'm not kidding, like, it was just <laughs> one thing after the other, just in terms of difficult things. Ooh, I don't have... I don't have a backup here. I think I have to go a bit lower. There we go. Not to risk. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy to take suggestions. Okay, one, one thing that I might do on one weekend. This one's a short one. It's not a playthrough. Um, but on the Wii U, I did pick up, uh, so the Game Boy Advance version of Super Mario 3 had e-reader levels, which were just a bunch of extra cool levels for Super Mario 3. Um, and you can't play them any other way, pretty much. You can play them on Nintendo Switch, but I'm not playing, I'm not paying for that subscription. Because I don't think it's worth it, personally. So I did pick that up on Wii U, and it is playable. So it's just a set of stages for Mario 3 that... They're less known, because you needed to purchase these physical cards to be able to play them, so... I've always been curious about them. Crash Bandicoot 2 or 3 might be a good distraction. Ah, I played through the Insane Trilogy in 2017, 100% them, and by far... That is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, and Crash Bandicoot 1 got to the point where I spent four and a half hours trying to get a Platinum Relic on a bridge stage, and it is probably... Look, I get salty at stuff, but I never get genuinely angry. That was the, probably the first time in a very long time that I got genuinely angry. Like, I felt it when I messed up. So... I think one day I'll go back to the trilogy and do all that shit again, because that was very early on when I was streaming, so not a whole lot of people would have caught that. And I don't have the VODs for it either, so... But it's something I don't plan to do for a long time, because it took a lot out of me to do it. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, time Trial was not in the original, so... A lot of them were just retrofit in, and there were some stages in particular where a Platinum Relic was like eight minutes. It was it was just stupid. I think they should have left them out. Um, two and three were a bit more manageable, but still made me salty. I don't think I don't think I could subject myself to that anytime soon because I know I know what happened last time. The two times that I have gotten genuinely annoyed. Crash Bandicoot 1. And the first time I played Mario Sunshine, so. Just genuine frustration. I mean, I, ha I have a bunch of... I have a bunch of stuff behind me that I can kind of go through. 
I did pick up Banjo Tui, so I mean, there's that. I, I could do that at some point. Um, but I think once the Super Nintendo trilogy is done, eventually I'll, I'll do t Tropical Freeze, so I do want to replay that, and that's a long one. That's the thing, you, I guess it's not a matter of just suggesting stuff, it's a matter of what do you really want to see. Because don't have all the time in the world. It's like we have to be somewhat selective. Because who knows what's going to get announced and then that takes away my attention for months. What are the top three that I want to play? Ah, uh, hmm. I'm really ugh. damn it. I shot the light and I didn't jump in time. I haven't really thought too much about it. Um. If I was to say, like, story-driven game, probably God of War Ragnarok. And the, uh, Like a Dragon game that's set in ancient Japan, just because I'm kind of in the mood for more of those antics. <laughs> uh, in terms of retro games, I mean, aside from Donkey Kong, which I'm already doing, I've had the urge to, uh, yeah. To do Metroid. Like either Super Metroid, Zero Mission, or Fusion. And, yeah, Warrior. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, I mean, Colosseum, I would have to get the, uh, the subscription to access it, because I don't have a physical copy of it. I don't think that's hard to source, but probably, like, lower on the priority list. Prime 2, I'm kind of torn on, because I do want to play it, but the issue is there's rumors that Nintendo is, is doing another remaster, and it's going to be 2 next time. And I just, I would hate to play 2, because it would be my first time playing 2. I haven't played Echoes before, and I'm just worried they're gonna announce it, so... Uh, yeah. Symphony of the Night I have played before, um, along with Rondo of Blood when they did that collection. So there's something on the VODs channel for that. I love Symphony. If I was to play a Castlevania game, Probably Portrait of Ruin. Because I haven't played that one in a long time, and that was a really good DS one. Plus, it'd give me an excuse to use the DS capture card a bit more. Damn it. The best way is to play the original, then later I can compare the remake. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I played Metroid Prime Remastered first. And I played Wind Waker on the Wii U first. And I think I, I can definitely appreciate the original control, control scheme and what they were going for. But sometimes they just include quality of life stuff that I'm like, mm, I, I kind of want the quality of life stuff as well. Particularly in the case of Wind Waker. And I mean, Metroid Prime was just such a nice visual enhancement that, yeah. It's not to take anything away from the originals, I'm sure they were 
great looking games for their time period and definitely in the case of Metroid Prime it did push it quite a bit in terms of just graphics in general like kind of amazing that that was a GameCube game but uh yeah I mean it, it interests me but it's, it's not my biggest priority I guess maybe for the GameCube era because it's not something I personally have too much nostalgia for. Because I didn't own one. I don't feel super compelled to try uh, the original control scheme with the controller. Unless it's something extremely fundamental like in the case of Skyward Sword. Where motion controls were absolutely the way I should have played it the first time. Um, you know, the original intended control scheme is was definitely the supreme choice in, in that regard. Oh my god, I hit how <sighs> I think this has to be the worst DK coin. I have to go through this entire stage pretty much. <laughs> kind of why I was hesitant to play this today. I'm just a little bit tired. So I think the platforming skills have fallen a little bit since starting. Ah, I died to the slow moving cannibal. Cannibal, jeez. Cannibal. Can cannonball. Am I gonna end early? Uh, what time is it? It's 9.40. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. This is either going to be something where I'm done with this world in the next 10 to 15 minutes. And then, yeah, no, I could do something else. Or this takes another half hour and, like, just takes the remainder of, uh, my will to stay up any further. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just, let's just see. I know I haven't played Zelda in a couple days. Okay, no cannonball this time. But if you ever want to just, I guess, request something or want me to play something in particular, I mean, don't have to tell me through a comment, but like, I did make that form. Not just for feedback, but also if you want to see something in particular. Ah, fuck. Or the YouTube comments is like another way. I don't know. Where possible, I do try to play the games using the original hardware intended, with some exceptions, right? So I try to acquire games. It's just in the case of games that are just really rare, or just for some reason their prices on eBay are just ridiculous. I, I would love to pay, play Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64, I really would using the original console and the controller and everything. But a copy of that game in Australia and Europe, like, because it's region locked, right? It is insanely expensive. Like, I, I could purchase a whole new Nintendo 64. I could purchase an American Nintendo 64 and purchase the American copy of Paper Mario. That's how bad it is. All 
Or I could just do the, the Nintendo Switch Online thing, but I don't know, man. I just... I just don't think it's worth it. That's that's just me. I think Sonic the Hedgehog is something that I'll eventually have to play. What is that? What is that? They go fast and then when it dies it, it just becomes that Matrix cannonball. I would just need to find, I guess, copies of those games. I mean, there's always the, uh... What's the name of that collection that's coming out soon? Oh my god, that word did not last long enough. I, I, I don't know, but I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. There's like a collection of Sonic games that they're releasing. Um... That's like pretty much imminent release. But it's all emulation, so I don't know how good it would be. Yeah, I mean, I fired the projectile, it was just in the air for longer, so of course the other one would expire sooner. I think if I'm gonna do Sonic, I would like to get, um, I guess, recommendations for Sega Genesis titles. Because I grew up with Nintendo stuff. My cousin had a master system for a little bit. So I'm aware of a few Sega titles, but as far as the, uh, the Genesis or the Mega Drive goes, as it was called here in, in Europe, I never really got to check out anything for it. I've heard Earthworm Jim is better on the Mega Drive, or Genesis, whatever it's called. was a mistake. Oh, salvaged. Okay. No! Okay, go low. Go low. Go lower. Lower. No! Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh my god. The stage is so mentally exhausting. Maybe I'm just tired. It is, it is this music that is carrying the stage for me mentally.
Good. No, that's not like I needed more lives. Oh my god, the cannonball! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Play Donkey Kong 2. Go play Donkey Kong 2. It's the best. Go play Donkey Kong 2. Go play Donkey Kong 2. It's the best. Don't care if this doesn't make sense. Sometimes I can make that jump. I saved it, right? You know, I'll save after this life just in case. I'm pretty sure I saved it. Trying to focus so hard right now. <laughs> what do you what? <laughs> what? How did I fall through that? How is that not? How is that not flush? Oh crap, I forgot to- ugh. I forgot to go save. I got so tilted at that. Yeah! Alright. <laughs> Please tell me I, I had the foresight to save it. I did save. Okay, good. Yeah, what a, what a coin.
Okay. So. stop thinking about the melody to this game just saying go play Donkey Kong 2. If, yeah, that's, that's when you know you're starting to lose your mind. Play Donkey Kong 2. Donkey Kong 2. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. I just, I just want to finish the stage, please. I'm gonna stop playing this soon. I just need to get this damn coin. I mean, I've finished the stage, technically. It's just this, this coin in particular. They just decided to be extra evil with it. Yeah, hey, Laura, thanks for the nine months. I am playing this game, but not for much longer. I'm just going to finish this world up and then be done for now. It was about- it was about to do it again. Okay, there we go. Halfway mark. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's just the end of this. Like, from this point forward, this is where it, it just goes insane. Yeah, that scared the absolute crap out of me. 
Oh, no, the, the sound I made that- okay, I thought you were talking about the jump. Yeah, I don't apologize for the sounds. Okay, good. Now this is... This truly sucks. <laughs> the fact that I have to go through so much. <laughs> Just for five seconds. Come on. I have to do this again! Because if I do the boss, and I have to do a bunch of other stages before I have to come back... I can't just come back here and try again! <laughs> I have to get to a point where I can fly back here, and I'm not, I'm not about to do that. I definitely, definitely grew up with a better game. <laughs> I mean, say what you will about, about Baby Steroid Kong. Um, I don't remember anything being like this in 3. Yeah, that, that's fine, it's fine. We get him back anyway. Alright. You remember trying to play Rayman, the difficulty of that game was insane. I can't remember which Rayman game I played, um, but it was one of the ones with hand-drawn stuff. Was it Origins or was it Legends? I can't remember, it was one of them, but I had always heard stuff about Rayman. That it was, uh, tricky. had more trouble with Oddworld. I only got to play Oddworld through a demo disc, but that stage that it had on the demo disc was, was difficult. I'm bad at stealth, but I mean, I think I did okay at um, Soulstorm, the most recent one. I enjoyed Soulstorm, though it, it had its, its moments where it was just uh, pretty difficult. Ooh, no, stop. Reset. Ooh, 
It was nice that that was free as well for the PS5. Can't complain about free. Free and no microtransactions chat. Like, what is that? See why this world is shorter. <laughs> Just <laughs> the kind of stages I've had to get. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. 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 You remember playing the Space Racer game? Uh, yeah, that was Wipeout. Um, they had Wipeout and they had Wipeout 2097. They were great games, and their soundtracks had stuff from the Prodigy and. Bunch of other electronic artists of that time. Yeah, I had a copy of Wipeout and my uncle had 2097, so I got to experience both. Space Mario Kart. Oh my god, I just want to get this done. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm shaking my head, just the hitboxes. It looks like a gigantic spider should be capable of walking onto that. I need to stop doing it. Like, it has, it has to overlap. There's a 50-50 chance that it just doesn't let me walk on it when I do that, and I, I should just stop it. <laughs> Is anyone gonna get this song stuck in their head? We've been hearing it collectively for about two hours, I think, when you take the other stages into account. All the Nightmare stages except one have had this, this song playing. Donkey Kong 2. Donkey Kong 2. It's the best kind of game. Oh, my God. 
Yes! Ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Ah, oh, all right, I'm saving the damn game. Okay, saving! I swear if I had to do that one more time, <laughs> I was gonna lose it. Okay, finally, uh, Creepy Crow. is this oh okay oh i can't touch them except that one that for some reason spawns a barrel that um what Maybe it was... Go Deluxe Kong, go! Oh my god. What now? Are you just gonna go again? No. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> okay, I can't mess that up. old backswing. Oh my god, stop! I don't know how I managed to get through that second phase without taking a hit. It's easier with Diddy. Damn it, bad timing. sound like to it. I wouldn't be surprised if they re reuse sounds. Oh, there's a DK barrel over here. That's nice. I didn't notice that before.
Oh my god. <laughs> really? I thought it wasn't going to come back. Okay, much better. Okay, explodes. Also, look at Dixie. What what is going on with Dixie? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <sighs> yeah. Uh, hold on. Okay, we have reached today's logical stopping point with, uh, with this. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, uh, almost, uh, just over two and a half hours. I wouldn't say it was three hours, but I'd say easily an hour of which was spent on two levels. So, good progress. Uh, all right. I'm going to take a short intermission now, chat. I want to get some sort of beverage to perk me up a little, because that last stage, not the boss, the spider level drained me a little. So let me do that for two to five minutes, um, and we'll do some Zelda. But if you were here for Donkey Kong Country 2, thanks for watching, especially if you're watching later on YouTube and reach the end here. Hope you have been enjoying the playthrough thus far. So, yeah. This is the part where I say bye YouTube and consider clicking buttons and stuff for algorithm purposes. And thank you to those that have been doing it. It does make a difference and it does help the channel a lot. So thanks if you've been doing that. But yeah, we'll see you next time YouTube. Bye YouTube.